and welcome to my channel R A J A D I T I has art space edu myself raja vilas and i am here to teach a very important and vital part of english grammar phrases and before i start my chapter before i start my lesson my teaching i would like to request all the viewers who are watching me right now please subscribe my channel so that you may get the latest videos related to english grammar thank you so much as we all know that there is a rivalry there is a confusion and conflict between the students among phrases and clauses but in the first chapter we are going to teach we are going to study phrases and very easily i am going to teach you what phrases is all about and how can you justify between phrases and clauses so now let's move ahead phrases it is clearly described that a group of words group of words which has no subject and no verb or phrases can't stand alone as a complete meaning of sentence or you can also say that each word has a meaning individually but not collectively it means phrases is a group of words which is which lacks subject and verb and in other words you can say that only noun but no verb or no subject no predicate we can say that phrase lacks subject and predicate we can clarify by going through the example the pen is on the table as we have learned in the previous lesson of predicate that the pen will be the subject for this sentence is on the table completely it will be the predicate for this particular sentence later on we will discuss but you can say that this part this this complete part is the predicate for this sentence but if we will erase this complete section on the table on the table this you can say that on the table is a prepositional phrase because on the table individually on has a meaning the table also has a meaning but collectively when we combine these words together separately it will have no meaning on the table has no meaning it means you can say that this is the clause the pen is on the table will be the clause for this particular sentence because no subject and no verb this is the formula no subject and no verb on the table has no subject no verb it is standing alone and each word has a meaning individually but not collectively it means on the table if we will separate single word out of this sentence then it will have a complete meaning individually but not collectively can't stand alone as a complete meaning of sentence if we will separate the pen is and on the table will be separated completely it will not as a complete meaning on the table has nothing as a meaning so you can say that each word has a meaning individually but not collectively this definition of phrases is very much clear by going through the example of on the table the pen is on the table so i think it is very clear that what phrases is all about and later on we will go through much of the examples to clarify what phrases is different from clauses and later in the part we will put some more videos in our channel regarding connected to clauses and in the next part of my video there will be a comparison there will be a categorization between 
phrases and clauses what kind of differences between phrases and clauses because there is always a confusion and conflict between phrases and clauses so for the students it is very important to know and very important to differentiate between phrases and clauses and it is one of the most you can say one of the most important and one of the easiest chapters of grammar to learn and to adopt so let's see move by by going through some of the examples about phrases he played in the ground he stands for subject played is verb and in the ground in ground you can say that this is noun so as we have discussed earlier that the group of words which should have no subject no verb will be phrases no subject and no verb it means if we will separate he and played from this sentence in the ground will not have any meaning so in the ground will be the phrase for this particular sentence the hawker is at the door the hawker stands for subject is helping verb and at the door you can say that this is subject and this whole section is at the door will be the predicate as we have discussed and i taught you in the previous video that what predicate and subject is completely different from each other there is another example he is sleeping on the carpet he is sleeping on the carpet he stands for subject sleeping with the verb and on the carpet if we will separate subject and verb out of this sentence then on the carpet will not have any meaning so now it is very clear by going through these three examples that no subject no verb no subject and no verb in the ground this particular section or at the door or on the carpet no subject and no verb and it can't stand alone as a complete meaning of sentence it means that in the ground or at the door or on the carpet it cannot stand alone as a complete meaning of sentence only noun no verb no subject and no predicate it means there is only noun which is present in this complete section no verb it has no verb no subject there is no subject and no predicate because if you will involve verb it means played in the ground will be a uh, predicate but if we will separate verb out of this sentence that there will be no verb no subject and no predicate there will be only noun so this is what phrases is all about so now let's go ahead so now i think that most of the students are very clear and confirmed about the uh, chapter of phrases so i would like to say that in the next video we will discuss about types of phrases and now alvida khan ka samay aa gaya so now see you in the next video and with a very important chapter of english grammar and see you and thanks for watching my video and please like share and subscribe myself rajesh nas and i am really very happy that most of the viewers are watching and subscribe my channel and thank you so much keep uh, blessing so me and keep me for subscribing and thank you so much for all your wishes and i think that every one of you will keep watching my videos and please if you have not not subscribed yet please go to my channel and subscribe it thank you so much